This is some help for Dynamics Problem 11141. A race car A is, tra is traveling on a straight portion of a track, while race car B is traveling on the circular portion of the track. At the instance shown, the speed of A is increasing at a rate of 10 meters per second squared, and the speed of B is decreasing at a rate of 6 meters per second squared. For the position shown, determine the velocity of B relative to A, and B, the acceleration of B relative to A. So we have what we are given here. Um, we have give, given the tangential components of acceleration for both point car A and car B. We know that the normal component of acceleration is V squared over rho. So we want to find rho for these two, uh, for part A, rho would be equal to infinity because we're on a straight portion of the track. If rho is equal to infinity, then v squared over rho, or over infinity, would approach zero. And so we would say that the normal component of acceleration for the um, car A is going to be zero. But that's not true of the acceleration, the normal acceleration of point of car B because the um, radius for this one is 300 meters. So what we want to do here for finding the velocity of B with respect to A is to find the velocity of B as a vector and subtract from it the velocity of A. So we know that the velocity of A is a vector traveling. We need to put a coordinate system on here. So if we say this is x and this is y, then we have va is he headed in a negative i direction, or 240 kilometers per hour in a negative i direction, and vb, now that's the tricky thing about this, is that we do have to find the angle. So we draw a line straight through here. We can draw a, a vertical up. We know that if this angle is 50 degrees, then this angle has to be 50 degrees. If we draw a right angle here with this one uh, 50, then this one has to be 40 degrees. And then we also, this is a right angle between here and here. This is a right angle because this is a tangential component. So if that's a right angle, then we know that if that's 40, then this has to be 50 degrees. So the velocity of B is going to be 200 kilometers per hour at an angle of 50 degrees. And we can write that as a vector 200 kilometers per hour multiplied by negative cosine of 50 degrees I minus sine of 50 degrees J. We have our two vectors. All we have to do is subtract them. Similarly, with the acceleration of B with respect to A, the acceleration of B minus the acceleration of A, and we need to just go through the same process and write these out as vectors in I, J's, and K's, uh, using the information we were given. We know that a negative 6 meters per second squared is going to be traveling in the opposite direction to the uh, direction of travel. So the acceleration would be headed in a, instead of a, um, anyway, the, the angle would be this way, 50 degrees, for our uh, acceleration, tangential component of acceleration of B and we would have to include that, same, that um, normal component. And that's the, really the, what this problem is trying to get to. So I'll let you handle it from here. Thanks.